Hey guys, what's poppin'? Lucas here, back with a brand new LEGO Star Wars video. I haven't done any LEGO stuff quite in a while. I was doing lots of vlogs. But one of my friends, my neighbors actually, asked me to review my Rogue One sets. So I wanted to review my U-Wing. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the U-Wing. First main figure is the U-Wing Resistance or Rebel f uh, Pilot, sorry, um, I said Resistance, but this is a Rebel ship, and he is in his Blue Squadron outfit, has a gun, a nice pilot face perm with goggles, and a pretty cool detailed helmet as well, which also, this minifigure also does come in a Micro Fighter set, Cassian Andor, or Cassian Andor, or... Casey and Andor, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He is in a nice jacket outfit, nice gun, pretty nice looking face. On the back's pretty cool as well. Corporal Bistan is here, and this is a Rogue One set, by the way. So some of the characters here might not be familiar to you, like Cassian and this guy. And he's not really, this guy's not really a main character in the movie or anything, but he's in his jumpsuit. And a nice outfit. He does look like a monkey a bit, which is quite weird. But still a pretty cool minifigure. Next main figure, or the last main figure, is a little rebel trooper with his nice battle outfit. Nice exclusive head. And this overall minifigure is exclusive except for the face. Which I don't disappear in any other set. The build of the set is just this little Ewing right here. And there's this ability to open that up. And you can turn it into this little U. Well, not really U, but in this V position. It makes the set look quite like an airplane. It is quite huge as well, and it's pretty cool. And you can swoosh it around. It's pretty light, actually. With the wings off to the side, it's quite light. This little piece came off because it is quite a loose attachment. And, yeah, it's quite annoying. The way this connects is actually just goes on balls, ball joints. And you can close that up right there. And it connects right here. There's one right there as well, which makes it connect to a ball joint right here. But I think I kind of like it more in this U position. Even though it does seem a bit heavy, it's fine. But... It's a bit front heavy, so it's kind of annoying. The way you can activate this cockpit is you push this. You can open that up. And then there's a little control cheese slope or chair. And the way that does is it actually goes like that. The mechanism for that. And there's an area to put your minifigure at. Move this back. Close it. This is a little feature. You can see these humps right there, big humps. That's where the spring loaded shooters come in handy. You push this, spring loaded shooter is supposed to push. And it shoots out pretty well. And you can just load those in there. You can see the humps right there. That's what you push. And shoots these bolts. It's quite cool. You can put the ball back in, or the bolts back in, rather. You get some really nice designs here. It's pretty nice. And yeah, nice, like, blue squadron color, so it's like color coded and such with the color scheme. There's a little cargo area in here. You pull this. It opens and gives some cargo. You can pull out a little gun. You can push it back. There's some seats. It's quite dark. You can also open that through the other side as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It works really well. You can get some light in there. You can just close that up quite easily. And yeah, it's pretty much it. There is also a ramp here at the back. 
can pull that down. There's nothing really in there. There's nothing much in there, so nothing to see. It's just, I guess, a ramp for decorations. And what I just noticed now is that in these engines, they actually use the Lego minifigure series base plate piece, which is also the things I use to like showcase my minifigures. I thought it was just like a 2019 new piece, but I guess not. And the way this is, this is actually like the X-Wing engines and works a lot like the X-Wing engines. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing too much else to say. Now let's take a look at the stickers and other details that you guys probably missed. Nice color scheme with the blue all over the place. Like these wings. And using the flat tiles gives it some more texture to it. And then flat tiles with some studs as well gives it a bit more texture. So it's pretty nice. And a nice rustic look. Some like pure studs here. Sticker here. Sticker there. This is just a print, and it's different from the X-Wings print. I just wanted to point that out. It's pretty cool pieces and what they use. Color combinations, looks really nice. Makes it feel pretty rustic. And it's overall a really, really cool vehicle. And it's quite cool. And then engines here, gray stuff, stickers on the, the jet boosters. Stickers on this little door area as well as the other side. And I just really like how rustic and run down the ship looks. But that's it for the build. So overall, this is a really nice set. You get some nice mini figures. Get a nice build, nice details and stickers. And just overall, a really, really good set. And if you guys want to get some Rogue One sets, I'll recommend either getting this one or this one. In my opinion, this one's the best. And the second one best is probably Krennic Shuttle or the Test Striker. But that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll give this set an A. Just some problems here and there with pieces coming off, like this little part here at the bottom. But other than that, it works really well. The only problem, the, uh, the only other problem I have with this it's probably the fact that here, like, it's a bit annoying. Now, sometimes, like, you can grab it, you can accidentally push it. It gets a bit annoying there. But that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for my latest vlog, which is going to be in the link in the description. Um, because this, I'm going to pl plan to upload this when I make the um, challenge gaming video that's it see you guys later peace